throw them hard so that some diamonds will get stuck in the meat. The eagles swoop down. They carry the meat and the diamonds along with it up to their nest to feed their anger. Then the merchants make a terrible noise. They scare the big eagles away. They take the diamonds out of the eagles' nest and they carry them off. This, the sailors told me, is the way the clever merchants get their diamonds. Once more, I unwound my turban until it was a long strip of cloth, emptied all the food of my bag. I stuffed the bag with some very fine diamonds. Then I tied an enormous chunk of meat to my bag. I put my face down to the stony ground and I waited. At last I heard the flapping of wings. The eagles were coming. An eagle picked up the chunk of meat that was tied to my back and he carried me with it into the mountains. I was dropped into a nest among the young eagles. Soon I heard shouting and banging. The merchants were making a terrible racket. It scared the big eagles away. One of the merchants came to the nest. He was surprised to see me. He was angry too. I told him my story. Then I opened my bag filled with the very fine diamonds. I offered him off of them. All the merchants were amazed and dazzled by the sight of many diamonds. They took me to their ship and soon we set sail for home. How glad I was to see our city of Baghdad again. My diamonds indeed proved to be a great treasure. I gave many presents to the poor. But you know me well, my friends. I cannot stay home for long. Soon again, your friend Sinbad the sailor will go to sea and sail to faraway lands.